Threadbangers, this is Kim from Something Crafty This Way Comes. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute, super easy pillowcase top for under $3. Alright, so here's what you're going to need. Vintage pillowcase. I chose this one because it has a really nice embroidery design. Those are the ones I usually look for when I do these. They have the nice work to them. Or anything with a nice edge to them. Like that, that. Or just a really interesting print. What you want to watch out for is edges that are frayed really bad and rips. They're not always easy to see in the store, as you can see since I brought this one home. So when you're there looking, check out the pillowcase, it's really good. Scissors, a ruler, pins, sewing machine, and thread that coordinates to your pillowcase. And if you're a little scared about measuring, a tank top. Okay, now for the initial cut. You're gonna take the top of the pillowcase off, then you're gonna need to cut two inch strips from the top for your strap. Next to make the armholes. Now this is where the tank top comes in handy. If you've never sewn any tops or anything and you're not sure where you wanna put your armholes at, do is you line this up nice and even, make sure the top's even. Then you can take a tank top, an old shirt, whatever, and roll down an inch. So that's going to be where your cut off is. And then take the tank top and just kind of measure it right there. You see, that's where you want it. And clip it. And unroll the top now, and then cut it in a J shape, and bring it all the way up to the top. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the raw edge of the arm hole, and you're going to fold it over twice. Pin it all the way around the whole armhole, both of the armholes. All right, I've got both my armholes pinned, ready to be sewn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run a single stitch around that edge, and then I took the top parts that I cut off to make this trap, cut off the sewn edged, and then. I've got them pinned together. I'm going to put a straight stitch right across there. And then I'm going to close the whole thing up and flip it inside out. Now we have the one long strap. Now you're going to fold right sides together like this. Pin the edges and sew all the way down. Alright, now that you've got all your edges sewn, you want to turn this so the sewn edge is in the middle and then just put a seam right across there so it's nice and flat. Okay, now that your strap is sewn right side together, you want to take your seam, put it in the middle like that and then run a stitch right along here. One of my favorite things to use to flip these straps right side out are these forceps that I picked up at a medical supply store. It's great because you just kind of put them in there a little bit, clamp down on some of the fabric, it locks, and then you just pull it right side out. Now I'm going to move the rest of this through and get this all righted out and I'll be back when I'm done. All right, so your strap is all right side out. You got your nice closed end. Now you're going to leave the other end open for now because you're going to want to see how long you want your strap to be. What you're going to do is you're going to fold it once like this, just a little quarter of an inch fold. And then, I'm trying to do it so you can see the measurement, about a little over an inch, almost an inch and a half. And pin that there. 
and all the way across. And make sure if you end up with these little ends sticking out here, you just kind of tuck them forward into the casing. And then put a pin right there. Flip it over. Do the same with the other side. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a nice straight stitch. Make that even again. Nice straight stitch across these parts right here. And I'll be back when I'm done. All right, seams are all done. You want to take your strap. I'm going to take this 